and welcome along and welcome to this first look at Chipping Norton. This, of course, is the, uh, well, is a map in Farming Simulator uh, based around uh, the area in which Clarkson's Farm is set. Um, and in fact, I think you'll agree, just even spawning into this map and coming uh, into this area here, this is immediately recognizable. And I, I, this is a an absolutely fantastic job uh, that has been done to start with. Uh, a lot of the buildings, I think, seem to have uh, nothing inside. Uh, and I think that's probably for good reason. You don't want to be... Uh, there seems to have been great pains taken in this map to avoid putting anything in here that is uh, too copyrightable or, or too, uh, too exact... Uh, to what is actually on the show, but close enough to say, ah, oh, these buildings are publicly viewable uh, and uh, and on here. So uh, th there's a nice, there seems to be a nice sort of balance between that here. Uh, if we come out the gate here, uh, we can see we've got the farmhouse here and, uh, and we've got the buildings here. And all of this, of course, has been very nicely modeled. We've got moving doors on all of the sheds. Uh, we've got uh, the new shed, of course, that was built during the series here. Um, again, a nice, uh, nice shed area. Uh, this, I like this yard a lot. This is a, it is a good yard. It's, it's pretty accurate to the area and, and to what's here. There are a couple of things that I really like. So we've got some productions straight on the farm. Uh, we've got uh, those in here as part of the uh, base uh, base setup. So we're on New Farm here. And so we've got bread cakes. We've got grape juice, uh, a grape juice factory in the, the farm. We've got a mini creamery. So there's a lot of stuff that is immediately available here in the farm that I like. Um, and here we've got the bread cakes and the grape juice straight off the bat. Uh, really, really nice yard. And the reason why... I'm going around this yard here quickly before we have a look at the map. It's because this is the most striking thing about this map. Is all of the stuff that you've seen in the series is is very nicely represented here. Uh, to, a, to a point that it really feels like you are walking around here without being too much. Um, and this here is the prime example of this. This is a base game Deutz Far uh, 28, uh, sorry, 8280, uh, which of course is done in the Lamborghini colors that exist uh, in the series. Uh, we also got uh, Caleb's class uh, that's here as well. So it's very nice to see this. Uh, and, and this is the starting equipment. And this is kind of what I'd hope. Um, the other starting equipment that is here on the farm is not stuff that I so much see on the series but there is a nice array of things here and we'll go through this stuff at the end of the video so yeah a first impression this is very nice it's it feels like i'm walking around the yard and uh and i, th I think it works really really well i'm actually gonna head into the farm office which this is a very nice touch and uh in here we'll have a look at the map and so, yeah, this is the map. You can see the very distinctive uh, area that is part of Chipping Norton. You can see that there is a big industrial section over here, uh, which has a lot of productions and a lot of uh, cell points and things in. Um, we've got lots of... There, there's a, a whole lot of thoughts gone into actual cell points and productions and things like that around this. And I really, really love that. That is just such a nice touch on this map and uh yeah it's absolutely brilliant from that point of view as far as land costs go unsurprisingly this massive forestry area here in 67 is the most expensive farmland uh so this is 1.16 million uh to buy that that contrasts the cheapest field that i could find well, the cheapest farmland I could find here, which is 45, all the way down to 9,972. So it's, it is such an array of land. 
Most of your fields, though, are going to cost you uh, around 100,000. Uh, you can see here that we've got 75, 81, going up to 109 and 110. So all the fields here are around the 100,000 pound mark. Really like that. Uh, that's really nice. There are some cheaper ones kicking about, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, the the, the me median seems to be uh, around about uh, that 100,000, uh, which is fantastic. I mean, that is a really, really great price for these on here. Uh, the other thing I think point out is this area up here seems to be a quarry of some kind. We'll go and have a look up there, see if there's anything that can actually be uh, done from there, whether there's anything to any stone to mine or anything. Um, but in general, it looks pretty good. We've got some animal areas and everything as well uh, to look at too. So uh, yeah, I think we'll have a drive around and have a look at all of that. So in order to do that, we're going to head back out of the office. And of course, uh, I have prepared myself a nice Land Rover on here. So let's close the door. I can get it. Yeah, there we go. Now, there's something there that does seem a little bit odd to me. The door is that sort of length there. So that's like a single step there. If I open it again. Yeah. So this is... I don't know if it's actually like this on the farm itself. But it seems to concertina in. Which, if, it, if that's an actual function, that's really good. I'm trying to tell if those... Those slats get thinner, so I, I, yeah, I'm not sure that that's actually realistic, and I think that there's a, there might be an issue with that gate a little bit. Uh, we've got a nice British Racing Green Landy here, and we're going to start this up and uh, and have a drive around with it. Now, a few months ago, I was lucky enough to visit this area and actually go and visit the Diddley Squat Farm Shop. And uh, yeah, so I've I've been around this area. Obviously, not up to the main farm, uh, but there's lots of uh, lots of roads around here. I have actually been on. So we're gonna head out of the main farm here and down towards the village at the bottom. We do actually have a combine uh, around the corner here, and I think what we'll do. Is we'll head down the bottom here and uh, and go and have a look. We might end up in the yards that the farm comes in. So this is uh, Chadlington that we're heading into. And that sort of cuts off at the bottom there. Nothing in that main area there. Oh, I have missed. We will come back, actually, because I have missed a set of sell points. In here, though, we do have a couple of sell points. So we've got the grocer's shop. Uh, that has a sell point back here. And then we've got another sell point just around the back here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So around to the back of the cafe here as well. So we've got a sell point here too. And if we just turn around, I'm going to turn around and go back a bit because we do have a sell point Oh, or a set of cell points just around the corner that we drove past. In fact, you might have seen the gates as we drove past them. And this will give us a chance to go and have a look at the other yard as we head back and around the map. And you'll see where everything meets up again. But this gate here leads into an area as well. And if we head into here... Uh, yeah, we've got a cell point in there. It looks like we've got a cell point for... I think this is root crops in here, by the looks of things. So open this up. And yeah, there we go. So uh, we've got a... Actually, no, we've got a production here. And this is... Uh, oh, this is our mini creamery. So yeah, you start off with this. And it looks like we start off with some butter straight off the pack as well. Uh, we've got some other bits and pieces here. So that is a mini sugar mill and a mini flour mill and a mini creamery. So, wow. There are a lot of custom productions built into this map. And I like that. I really like that. We don't see... To, in my opinion, we don't see that often enough. 
uh, lots of, uh, of little productions and things built into maps that would just be really useful and really good to get your farming experience started that are tailored to the map as well is uh, is something that i i would really love to see in more maps and uh, and to see it on here that's that's really nice and i think this is one of those maps that is going to have a huge amount of playability even beyond the fact of it of it being the farm that it is playability on this feels great and we've got a farmyard down the bottom here uh yeah this is where we've got a combine sitting here waiting for us the combine of course in the series famously not being owned by the farm itself so uh do you know what i would love to have seen i would love to have seen that be a least piece of equipment that you start with uh that would have been great and we'll have a look at what the actual status is um and i will give a load of kudos if uh yeah it is actually a least piece of equipment that combine because that would make a lot of sense uh with what you're starting with on this map we're heading up this side now and we've got a oh an area in here which i would have said is a cell point but this looks more like another farmyard in fact yeah this that's exactly what this is this is another farmyard so it uh, looks like there's plenty of yards around this map if you wanted to do a multiplayer on here uh which is pretty cool and and that i love that there's that actually that makes me smile the fact that m more thoughts have gone into this than just the whole idea of let's make a map of uh of of chipping norton and uh, and that area because it's a famous area there's some actual thought gone into this in how can this map be played what what makes this map more than just a little fun bit to be had now there's a point down here what's this for oh bees bees down here fantastic oh right and now my my favorite test for a map oh it's how well is the scrubland under the trees done and it looks like there's some work but i would like to have seen more variation under the trees here a little bit more scrub uh, a little bit of grass uh maybe a few more shrubs and things underneath yeah there's some nice bits further around but you you get into here and uh and there's there's not much under the tree so i think i'd like to have seen a little more detail put into there um but certainly uh that is uh that is probably one of the more minor things uh, as i said it 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 then i then start looking at how much other detail has been put into a map when i find that there's not a huge amount of detail in the tree areas so uh, i will be looking more into that but have we, we kind of already come across a whole load of detail on this and uh, a, a lot of making sure that a the, the map looks accurate to the area it's based but also uh, a lot of thought into how uh, the, the detail of how playable it can be as well so i can forgive a certain amount on on the forestry side of here because the forest is not why people are going to be playing this map at all it very much is a map where people are looking to play the main farm and play the other bits and uh you know the other bits surrounding that so uh yeah i i can forgive that on here um but uh, i will be looking out for a lot of detail anywhere everywhere else and actually do you know what i am finding a lot of detail everywhere else there's a lot of thought that's gone into other parts of here uh, we have got the American Larson's Livestock on here. Uh, we've got a cell point down the bottom there. So uh, that's good to have an animal market on here that's fairly uh, uh, reachable. Um, the one thing I am noticing is the further you get away from the main farm, the, the more it, it strays from the local setup, which for a, a a fictional map around a certain area makes a lot of sense uh, it's also again that trade-off between realism of an area and uh the the whole playability thing and so far there is that that trade-off seems to be holding here and this is what i think 
is is true for this area here we've got a lot of productions and kind of hidden away on this side of the map carpentry we've got a uh i think that's a cereal factory and we've got the bakery there we've got uh what's that 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 looks like a dairy there we've got a grain mill there so yeah there's lots of stuff that's that's grapes uh that's a, a great place that's an oil factory we've got the spinnery there so do you know what's great about this in the in the pursuit of making a map that is true to life to an area it it really the the whole reason for people wanting to play farm sim as well hasn't been forgotten you play this game to to harvest your crops and uh, and deliver them and make money from them and everything like that so the it's it's been given that thought of okay we'll get the main area of the farm we'll make that true to life for people who want to play it and uh, and then we'll we'll spread out and we'll add areas outside of the normal bounds that allow for the features and the playability and everything uh of of the game to continue to be used but then don't detract from the main reason and the main part of why people want to play this map and i love that uh now this road it seems disappears off into the edge of the map i don't think we're going to be able to get through the hedge up here N oh no so this this goes to a roundabout we have hit the edge of the map oh we can't go round the roundabout i was kind of hoping that was going to be the case uh but yeah we, we're gonna have to head back up to the main road so uh, i'll turn my landy round uh we'll head back and uh, and i'll pick up again on the main road uh, and we can continue the map tour so back on the main road and heading now i think we're heading up towards the farm shop uh, if i remember correctly so we'll head up this way and i think that's one of the other big features now one of the the great things about this area when i was visiting um is how beautiful an area is and i'm just uh, how beautiful the area is and i just want to work out if uh that is uh, that holds true for this so let's uh let's have a quick look over here and see it is gorgeous i think i'm in the wrong bit let's go look at the shop because that is and that is one of the areas where i looked at it and went that is amazing and i'm getting glimpses as i'm driving along and i'm zoomed out of the landy here i'm getting glimpses of that but i want to get up to an area where i have actually been and uh, and think and compare it it does look like we've got another oh no i know what that is i know exactly what that is at the bottom there so yeah i know where we're coming up to at the moment and uh yeah this is this is very cool let's bring this here and it does say if you can tell farm shop and chadlington so let's just have a quick look at the map and just see let's head up the top here then we'll save that as possibly the place for us to finish because there's a whole load of productions up here as well uh so this is where the bga is and i can safely say that there is not a bga here in real life uh we've got several uh bits and pieces i think that the entrance to the next area was actually the previous road so we'll have a look at that on the way back um but way it's a little bit bumpy around that bga yeah you can see that there so uh, a couple of bits here this could do with being smoothed out because that is quite a ramp so uh yeah there's a few bits i think that is a caravan park in real life if i remember correctly although there is a caravan park on that side of the road there uh we've got a heating plant next to the bga oh please tell me the caravan park is something that you can purchase 
and earn money off here. That would be absolutely fantastic and a really nice touch. Uh, we've got the shop up here, I believe, with a really interesting array of machinery in here. Oh, this is so cool to see all of this kicking around here. I love that. It's not often you get a shop that, that feels like this. I really, really like that. Cannot see, though, the actual purchase point. Because I am presume, presuming this is the shop. Uh, and I'm fairly sure... Yeah, yeah, it's the dealer. So this is where stuff spawns. Ah, there it is. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, there we go. I've got a dealer up here. And if you want the shop icon, rather than pressing P or the, or the shop button... And that's the way you get into there and do that. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, we've got a fuel station on the opposite side, along with another production by the looks of things. Which of this map is quite good. I, you know, we've, we've not, I've not felt like I'm hitting the edge at any particular point, which is, which is nice. Beyond that road, I went down and just couldn't get any further. Uh, yeah, we've got a sell point here for the pizza place. So we've got pizzeria up here. Uh, garage here. There is another shop or something down and round here. What have we got over here? Uh, so in there, that is... Ooh, that looks like another... Uh, Oh, yeah, it's another pizza place. So there's two pizza places on this map uh, that you can sell stuff to. We then have across the road here, a it's either a sell point or a purchase point. And I can't see. Ah, there we go. It's for the lime crusher. So that's what's, uh, that's what's in here. In the middle of the... Uh, Caravan Park, no less. And speaking of that, we do want to go and see if we can see what happens uh, with this lime area before we head back and go and have a look at the shop. And I think that that is all placed down this way here. What have we got? Quarry down here. So, yeah, there is a quarry on this map. Exactly what it does, I don't know. And I think, actually... I would have preferred to have had that lime, uh, that that stone crusher down here at the quarry. I think that would have been a better place for it to be. It, it feels like a, a a place that it would possibly have fit in better. And we'll head down and round, and yeah, we've got a massive quarry area down here. Uh, does this actually have horrible material in it? I think it does. Is that... That's a lot of stone. Yeah, you can actually dig the stone out of the quarry. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, I think I still would have liked the stone crusher to have been down here. Uh, even though this is mineable. Um, but this is the, the first... I, actually, there may be other maps. Oh, no, there, in fact, there are other maps because I've played them um, that, uh, that, have, uh, quite, uh, that, that have that have quarryable stone on them. Uh, yeah, I'd like the Stone Crusher, I think, to have been in this area here. Maybe had this a little bit more populated. Um, but, again, minor issue. There's lots of nice stuff here. I... I Still haven't worked out how to get into that area there. So we'll head back around here. I think I see a roadway to it. But we'll uh, we'll see if we can get to that. So come up here. Now there is there is one other small issue I think I have. Is that all of the dirt roads on this map feel too wide. And we've seen it with a few maps before. They all seem as wide as the A roads, and and that's that feels a little bit off. As uh, farm tracks, especially, uh, I always feel would would benefit from being a bit thinner. 
let's just uh, bring this around here and I will I will show you exactly what I mean by that in a minute um, again here I, I think this track possibly could do with being a bit thinner so it's it's that kind of thing where single track roads if I come over here that that feels like a double track road a little bit right yes here this is how we get into this area and this is our sawmill so yeah that's where the sawmill is placed and again a little bit of a divot in the ground there so maybe again minor thing but a little bit of smoothing in a couple of places um we'll just finish off bits and those sort of contribute a, a little bit to this map feeling slightly rough around the edges um I, I i would still say massively playable and a really nice map in everything it tries to do uh but i think there's a there's a couple of rough edges just just that little bit of tweak and a little bit of cleaning up and um, because if i'm finding these within you know sort of the 20 minutes half an hour i'm driving around the map then lots of people are going to find those rough uh rough little bits now coming up to here this of course is one of the most famous places on this map and uh one of the actual places i have been so uh i have uh, i have some knowledge of this and yeah this is very cool so i like this uh, again as i was saying at the beginning uh, enough of this to get a really good feel as to where you are without uh stepping too far into the uh copyrightable and trademarked areas this is very very cool although these benches should be 90 degrees the other way <laughs> just yeah um loving it i i really really love this and of course down here through through this field and uh we have got the little restaurant that was built at the end of the last series uh, which again i think is is either a production or a sell point definitely a sell point uh you can see that here uh and then yeah we've got the restaurant in here this is so well done that the 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 bits that are absolutely important for for what makes this map so interesting are all here and i love that this map is accurate where it needs to be accurate and detailed where it needs to be detailed because people are gonna be looking for these bits and uh, and 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 for this stuff and yeah it's it's really really cool but that that's that those bits of detail are here it's it's very very nice that those bits of detail are here and uh yeah i love it i i love that absolutely now if we head this way uh hey you get exactly what i was talking about the farm about the farm tract but move over to the side of this this is a two-lane road it shouldn't be and i and i would like to have seen these farm tracks a little bit narrower um that would have been that would have been a good um as as i've said though these are small issues these are things that i i don't have such a big problem with that it would stop me playing this and and that it affects the playability of the map and there are areas where these do get thinner and and do fit a bit better uh we've got there's so many nice little bits that yeah so many nice touches and if you know why i think that's a nice touch then then you know because that's you know that is part of it um this this is a very playable very nice looking map and now you can get the feel of what i was talking about this is a gorgeous area and it's really nice to be able to look into the distance on it oh it's yeah i like this i like this a lot it's a very very nice reputation representation of this area in farmton and i think a lot of people are going to very much enjoy playing this area because yeah a lot of people want to and it works it really does 
So now that we're back at the farm, uh, let's have a look in the shop and uh, and have a look at the equipment that we start with on here on New Farmer. And under our tractors, uh, yeah, we've got uh, the little uh, brewer tractor. Now, I think this is a replacement for the small Massey that's on the farm in the series. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool to, that that's not been forgotten. Uh, we've got the uh, Deutz uh, 8280TTV. This is a version of it that comes with the map uh, in order to, of course, get that Lamborghini uh, silver on it. Uh, we also have a class Axion 8000. Uh, neither, yeah, it, like it's one thing I really, and this goes in general for maps, I would like to see some hours on the tractors uh, when you start on New Farmer. That, uh, that I always find is a nice touch, and it's done on so few maps. Uh, harvesters, uh, we've got a New Holland uh, CH770 Combine. We've got a JCB uh Agri Pro Teller Handler. There is a uh, Lizard Pickup 2017. We've got the Cramp Halfpipe HP20, which I've been using recently on uh, Zolonka, and uh, is a really nice trailer, actually. We also have a header for our combine, so the very feed uh, 28 foot from New Holland. Uh, we've got a lot of potato technology. So we've got a Roper Keller 2 harvester, a Grimmy GL860 compactor seeder, and a Grimmy KS75-4 uh, topper. Uh, beat technology, we have a Grimmy Rooster 604 and a Grimmy FT300 topper. Uh, we also have under cultivators a Coon Prolander 7500. And the Cedars, uh, we've got a Potinger uh, Terrasim C6F. Under Planters, we have an Agramas Falcon 3. Under Sprayers, we've got a Bertold Vantage 4300. Uh, Bale Loaders, we've got a Farmtech DPW 1800 flatbed trailer. Uh, animals, we've got a nice array of equipment starting with on the animals. Uh, we've got Anderson Pro Chop 150, uh, a Kuhn RA142 feed mixer, uh, a Lizard MKS8 tanker trailer, and an Abbey uh, 1600 water trailer. Animal transport, we've got a Fiegel Noah TTW140. And then we've got some telehandler tools in a Magisai Universal Bucket and Pallet Fork. And then finally, for a header trailer, we've got a Nardi N40BX for the Combine header. Now, I had hoped that the Harvester would be at least one. Um, but, uh, yeah, there is nothing under the least items here. So, yeah, this map is pretty cool. I like this a lot. There's, there's an attention to detail really where there needs to be attention to detail um i think i would like to see some improvements uh to the map uh there's a few bits and pieces where it is rough around the edges uh nothing that is game breaking or would make me say don't play this uh it is just little bits here and there that could be cleaned up that, that would that would just improve this overall however I really, really love this map. I, I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's a great representation of the area. Uh, if you are a fan of Clarkson's Farm, I, I think I would recommend going and playing this. Uh, it puts you right in there on the action and I think is going to be a huge amount of fun uh, for those of you who, uh, who would like to have a go at it. Um, so yeah, it's available on the Mod Hub. It is available for PC, Mac, uh, playstation and xbox so it's a cross play map as well go check it out and uh, don't forget to check out some of my other map first looks as well for now i'm gonna leave this here so all that remains is for me to say
thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.